Hey, what's going on my Airgun brothers and sisters? Welcome, thanks for joining. Glad to have you here, talking to each and individual person that is watching. I appreciate it, thank you so very much. So today I'm at Tom's Lizard Ranch and we are working on his AEA Challenger Pro 25 Cal. And we decided to go ahead and experiment with the lighter spring and we adjusted the regulator um, from uh, the regulator we settled on one full turn from minimum on the regulator internal regulator and what what is it what was it at when we started uh, I think it was one and a half one and a half bar no the the regulator was one and a half turns okay so stock it was one and a half turns out from zero and it all the way in and at maximum maximum on the little dial it was shooting 1103 feet per second on a 34 grain <laughs> anyway, right and so, what did we get um between the lighter pellets and the heavier pellets um we were sh shooting at uh the light the 25 grain we were getting 974 and after the adjustment after the adjustment and not 890 feet per second on the 34 grain after the adjustment and before that we were getting a well, thousand the, the, feet the, the, on the, the 25 20, well, and well, before, nine, before we did any adjustment remember we were shooting the 25 grain and it was shooting off off the uh, uh, the chronograph the chronograph wouldn't register so we know high. it was a thousand and then we know that the um 33.95s were like 990 or something right yeah, they were way up there. They were almost a thousand. Yeah, almost a thousand. So if you guys can uh, figure that out in your head, uh, basically it, it made a significant difference. And um, I'm not really going to show you targets and stuff today. Um, I am set up to go ahead and shoot some ABS slugs at 90 yards, and I'm practicing my holdover. Um, so we're going to hold over um, two, right? Two yeah, dots. the we have it set right now at the internal reg at one turn, and on the air adjuster dial on the outside we have it one little dash off of maximum. One little dot dash. Almost off. at just just right close to maximum. So and three quarters to maximum. No, like no. three quarters. No, then full, one more would be full maximum, and it's got one big line it's got those little two little dashes in between the two big lines and it's just almost to the first little dash so it's just a hair off max just all, a hair off max. All max, okay. almost max and sorry i thought we were three quarters yeah but so no, different line so we and with that setting at the 34 grains oh no at the 36 grain avs flat bottom slug nine shots we had a 5.0 spread and a 1.8 deviation and i'll make sure this is set you can show the look at this a little bit closer get it yeah there it is i mean that's back off of this a little bit so it'll focus yeah so anyway so that's pretty that's pretty good for amateurs yeah, I would say. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, shoot this group at the 90, and maybe I'll bring you guys down. Um, so let me just go ahead and put... One, one other thing that we that found, too. there like that. Is that... Trying to uh, see me shooting. All right. When we were shooting... When we were shooting the... Uh, the uh, Obolo... Uh, actually, with was JSB, the 34 grain, on the helix scope at 50 yards the, the scope was dialed in at 5.9 on the numbers but at 60 yards we had the holdover of one mil at 70 one and a half mil 83 mil and 90 yards was a four mil holdover with the diabolo jsb 34 slugs so with the flat bottom ASV slugs at 60 yards it was only a half mil holdover 
At 70, it was one mil over. And we're just about to do 90. 90. The 80 yard targets are messed up and we can't tell where we're shooting, but 90, we're going to shoot 90 right now to see what the hold holdover is. And it should be about, instead of four mil with the pellets, it should be two, two and a half. Two mil. Like now that. that just goes to show you the ballistic coefficient difference between a pellet and a slug. So And we're shooting, and we're shooting these, uh, Pellets, let's see here. I'm gonna turn this on. And let me, my phone over here, I'll get it set up so we can record. And we've been shooting at nine. The average is 900 and basically 20 feet per second. We've had so many shots. So the, uh, the string The string was 923, 918, 918, 918, 921, 918, 918, 921, and 918. Super duper consistent. And that's why I threw this video up, just mainly just to show you guys that. Um, the, the flat, you know, graph curve that we're getting. Wow. And, wow. and also one other thing to do, when... When we first started shooting, when it was shooting 1,100 feet per second, we were getting 91 foot-pounds with a 34-grain pellet. <laughs> 91. Yeah, it was like, okay, that's pretty hot. Okay, firing. Okay, I'm aiming dead center, 90 yards, um, 2 mil dot holdover. Get out of the way, bushes. Okay, right on the money. I mean, it's not, it didn't hit the target. We're shooting for groups here, but um, it went to the left and it's, you guys will see when I bring it down, but wow, dude, wow. We we got it down, dude. We're not two fools just pretending like we know what we're doing. We're actually learning stuff. We're fools, but we still <laughs> Yeah, hopefully you guys can learn something from my videos though. Okay, not grouping good at 200 or at well, that 90 was yards. Nine, that was 900, so I don't know why that was. Are we off the reg? Well, it dropped quite a bit. Take another shot and we'll see if we might be. 900. Yeah, tip it over here and let me see where we're at. Okay, it, it's starting to group. Yeah, we're at two. Yeah, we need to fill, fill her up. Okay, sorry guys, I can't pause my camera, so. This will be quick. All right. So can you make sure I'm in the camera or the camera's at least showing the gun or at least showing my head a little bit into the gun? You're perfect. Okay, cool. All right, Oops. so um, again, we want a two mil dot holdover and I aim dead nuts. Okay, so it started to group on those last two, but I'm gonna go ahead and start a new group here. How many pellets? We got plenty of slugs. Okay, so. Um, Is it cut? I don't think so. Okay, so two mil dot hold over, 90 yards. I'm aiming at the nine o'clock, whatever that is. 12, one, two, three o'clock, sorry. Way over to the left. Ready? Yeah. 900. 
904. See, we went 900, 900, 904. Eight hundred ninety-five. Okay, that's three. Four. Nine hundred and twenty-three. Wow. Jumping all over for some reason. Nine hundred nine. Okay, so that was five. The last one was nine hundred and nine. So not super consistent like we were before, which is kind of weird. But again, we're new to this gun. You know, this is the second time I've shot it and first time shooting it with the new um, adjustments and with the slugs. But I'll take and show you guys here real quick. Um, Again, this isn't a real informative video, but there are things in it that I think you guys will be able to utilize. And also, people that are interested in buying the gun, they can see real world results, you know? Now keep in mind, you gotta take into consideration human error, because, you know, I'm not a computer, I'm not perfect. And neither is a gun, so. Okay, I was aiming dead nuts, right? And I shot and I hit right here. And my second shot went over there. And then I think I did a third shot, it went here. Then I started a new group, I went over here, okay? And I don't see the fifth shot. This always happens to me, but this one, if you look at all these holes, see there, there, and there. Now look at this one. See how they're different? I think two went through the same hole. But again, one, two, three, four. And again, I don't know where the fifth one went, but you guys shot, saw me or heard me shoot five shots. But yeah, we're looking at a three inch group at 90 yards. Um, if you don't count this one that went off, um, between four shots, I'm calling that four shots. Um, working at one inch, if you go this way, one and a quarter. So, I don't know, real world, so we're calling it a three inch group at 90 yards, all right? And then if I measure this group with just three shots, it's two and a half, furthest to furthest. Let me just do it. Yeah, that's dead nuts three. And then this one, like I said, that's the furthest one is two and a half. But that was only a three shot group. All right. Again, 90 yards with the Challenger, AEA Challenger Pro 25 cal. But um, look at some of these groups with the JSBs. I'm not sure which one. Uh, this right here, group right here, is definitely the heavier ones and one two three four five and this one's the farthest one out so let's go there one and a half and i got a group right here one two three four five again one and a half i mean this is the aa challenger at 90 yards um 33 and the 25 I'm um, not sure which is which. I'm pretty sure these were the, the uh, 33.95s. But again, these are the AVS slugs, these two groups. Right on, right on. All right, we're about 14 minutes in, so I'll spare you guys. Most important, be safe, have fun, watch your six. I'll see you on the next one.